Good. Uh, just kind of getting used to the whole uh, tight end thing again, but you know, it's been fun. Uh, just trying to get learn over adjustments, going over blocking and stuff, get perfecting my routes, stuff like that. It's been going good. What, what are the challenges for you specifically, kind of getting back into that tight end thing, like you said? Because there are things that you haven't necessarily done in your entire tight end career that you're not yeah. being asked to do. Oh, um, most well, for sure. I'd definitely say the blocking aspect. Um, coming from Oklahoma, I was an entire receiver. Didn't have to do much. And then coming here, it's like 50 50. You got you to gotta be able to do both to play. So that was the biggest challenge for me, especially coming in spring ball, too. And then now I'm getting in fall ball, just get back into it and get more into the technique aspect of it. So just trying to figure that out right now. Was it a difficult transition for you? You know, you're working with. Adam Brennan, and then you have to work with a new coach, Justin Blue. What's that like for you? Um, it wasn't that difficult at first. Uh, at first, it was kind of like, I mean, you kind of just got to roll the punches. I mean, college football's full of adversity and a bunch of changes, coaches changes, so you kind of just got to get used to it and roll with the punches. And uh, at first, we, you know, we kind of all had sat down and talked about stuff like together that Coach Brennan did, that Coach Wood wants to do, and kind of just put it all together to kind of just make it uh, successful for everyone. And what's it been like working with Coach Wood? I love Coach Wood. Coach Wood's uh, awesome. He's hilarious. Uh, he loves, he's definitely, he's a player's coach. I mean, he takes in meetings. He breaks it down for us very well. And then getting on the field, I mean, uh, if we mistake, he doesn't yell at us or everything. He tells us how to do it right, make sure we correct it. And if we do a big play, he's jumping with us, celebrating in the end zone. So it's super fun to uh, work with him. How do you see yourself being utilized and potentially having an impact in this offense? Um, you know, do whatever I, uh, they need me to do. I mean, uh, going to the spring game, I know I kind of got to – people got to see kind of what I could do in the pass game and uh, a little bit in the run game. So, uh, going into the season, just uh, plan on perfecting my craft, blocking, and uh, keep working our routes and be a, a mis uh, mismatch nightmare for whoever wants to guard me. So, What do you think is your greatest strength out there right now? Uh, greatest thing, uh, honestly, I would say route running. Uh, just being able to get open. Um, like I said, in the spring game, I was able. To, I mean, I had like five catches, something like that. And uh, a lot of people were like, "Who is this? Like, who's this tight end? Whatever. Why is he catching so many?" So you know, um, it's kind of like that's what people call me, mismatch nightmare. And I like, I like to take credit to that. I mean, with Jaden throwing to you, I mean, he makes it really easy for you. So, what's the dynamic like within the tight end group, and sort of how do you guys interact with each other and push each other? Oh no, yeah, we're we're like family. Uh, I love those guys. Uh, Curtis is like my older brother, and then Case is like my little brother. That's annoying, but uh, will beat me up if he asks. So, but uh, no, they're all uh, we're all tight knit family. I mean, we work together. We uh, talk through stuff, have our own meetings. Sometimes players own meetings, and it, it works out very well. It just allows us to get closer, so we can all be successful on the field. How comfortable were you in the offense this spring, and then? Right now, um, compared to that, how have you seen yourself Ooh, in evolve? spring? I don't know, but I was I'm mean, going into the I would say in the spring game, I was about 70, probably 70 percent confident, like how I knew everything, and that was definitely like a learning experience, especially going in, like being in a game situation. Uh, going into the fall, though, I did have a good aspect of the playbook and how to uh, do everything and my technique and stuff like that, so I'm definitely more confident now than I've been in this whole offense since. So. Um, just kind of uh, make sure I perfect everything and get better at uh, what I can do every single day. So. What do you think exactly was that 30% that you were struggling uh, with? I think a lot of it was just, uh, I mean, this is like an NFL style offense. I mean, when you go from Oklahoma to like one word plays and everything's like calling stuff out with hand signals and then going here, it's a play with seven words and you got to put words to like a formation and a call and stuff like that. It was definitely a big transition for me for that. But uh, figuring it out now, kind of getting to learn uh, from Herm and Coach Hill, like what it's like to be in the NFL style offense to reach that next level and be at a next level uh, mentally. So, you talked about blocking earlier. How has Coach Wood helped you in that standpoint? Oh, uh, he worked, I mean, it's definitely helped. He worked with the old linemen in the spring and he's been working with them as a grad assistant. So, he's definitely taught me how to uh, be like, not like a lineman, but you know, just how to keep hand, get your hands in the right place, feet in the right place, and take the right step. So, in that aspect, blocking has been a lot uh, more easier for me, I guess I would say. So, it's been good. What's a guy like John Stivers bring to that group? The other guy with some experience, he's a Harvard grad. Yeah, a bunch of uh, crazy experience. Knows, I swear he knows every single play. If you call it out, he can write it up on the board. Uh, he's definitely he's definitely one of my biggest people to go to if I have a question or if I need to ask, just ask something because it's like I can go ask him right away and he knows it and he'll explain why it's supposed to be that way. So I love John. He's awesome. So it's fun getting to pl uh, play with him. Coach O's offense pretty consistently utilized tight ends when he was at Boise State before he got here. And then, you know, last year was kind of a tough year to, to get everything mm -hmm. really incorporated. How, how do you feel like you guys are going to be used this year? And what's kind of the importance of being a tight end in this offense? Um, I feel like this year we're going to shock a lot of people. Um, I think a lot of people going uh, in the past were saying this was kind of the uh, – 
this the tight end group was kind of the group that's put off on the side and needed if they call. But I think this year we're going to shock some people. I think me and uh, Curtis and all of us in general are going to be able to make some plays that a lot of people would see but a tight end can make. I mean, cause like Curtis came here, was receiver to start, went here. I was a receiver to start, came here. So we're definitely more athletic tight ends than uh, a lot of people have in the country. And we have big expectations personally. And in, within the office, within the team, they have big expectations of us. So I just think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a year we can shock some people. So. Is it a pretty big role in, in this offense? Oh, yeah, for sure. And you have a lot of responsibility. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, I think personally, I mean, you got to block, you got to, you got to be able to catch. I mean, it's one of the most like uh, athletic positions on the field. I mean, you got to do something that linemen can do, you got to do something that receivers can do. So it's definitely a big, like, uh, I want to say burden. It's definitely a big thing to carry on your back with you, but as long as you handle it, you can do your thing. You know, you're gonna be all right, and you're gonna show up. So. And, and how was that different from what you came from? Not only at Oklahoma, but in high school too. You, you kind of played more of a receiver role as a tight end. What, what's what's this like now to kind of have to grow this role? Is this kind of what you always wanted to do? Like, what, what's that like for you? Um, you know, like in high school, I was played receiver, and I got recruited. I was getting recruited as a tight end, and honestly, at the time, I wasn't really thinking of what that kit was made of. I always used to think of guys like Jason Witten and all of them. I never thought of them blocking. I never always remember them catching passes. You never think of them blocking in a play. So, like, coming here and getting to actually be a tight end and learn how to block and learn how to read the D linemen and stuff, it was definitely, like, a big thing for me. I was like, wow, like, the tight ends do a lot more than you think they do, and that's why I, I like playing the position so much. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Thank Thanks, you. Jalen. Appreciate it.